Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnip Podcast. It's the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions in the worlds of music, TV, film, pop culture, sports, everything really. Depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Romoliotis. And on Twitter, you know me as PD Beats. My guest is a multi-platinum international recording artist. She has many songs, including Stereo Love, Sooner of Later, Heartbreaker, many amazing songs. We're with Mia Martina. Mia, welcome to Popternative. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No problem. How's the quarantine been for you so far? It's been good so far. You know, like it's been a good time to reflect among, well, like considering everything that's going on. So it's been, it's been okay. It hasn't been too, too bad. And plus I'm in a beautiful place. So that helps a lot. Oh, for sure. So you've had an amazing career thus far, an international career. Your song's kind of making their way around the globe, which I think is really cool. Before we get into that though, when did you decide that, you know, performing and I call musicians and actors, whatever they do, they're all storytellers. When did you decide that storytelling and performing was something that you wanted to do? Honestly, I always knew I wanted to be a singer from like, since I was four, for real. Like, um, I, it was just my, it was just my thing. It was just my thing. I've been singing since I'm little. I've been playing piano, acting, modeling, all like you name it. I've been into all, into all aspects, and I just, I just knew that was what I was meant to do. No, absolutely, and yeah, like I said, you know. Your songs uh, have had a lot of success. Um, specifically, sooner or later, actually went platinum like during this time, during this quarantine time. I know, I know. That means people are are listening to music more than ever, which is good because you know music uh, music helps helps get through things. Sometimes it makes you feel good, right? You feel the emotion, so it's good. That makes me happy. No, absolutely. So I, I often do this when I interview, um, you know, recording artists on my show. Mm-hmm. I do like the the name three. So what I want to know is you've had many amazing songs over the years, but I want you to kind of name three specific songs of yours. So number one, I want you to kind of name, we talked about most of them are pretty dancey, but I want one, your go-to kind of dance, good vibe song of Mia Martina. Then number two, I want you to let me know about the song that is the most important to you a song that holds close i'm sure they're all very important but one on top of your head that has to do with you know important times during your life and then three and i'm sure maybe this could be considered you know one of your newer songs but i kind of want um one of your more um trendy kind of up and coming songs so i want dancey I want meaningful and I want trendy of Mia Martina. Okay, so definitely dancey. I would say I really love Beast. Beast gets me in that zone. I love it. It's kind of like stark and sexy. I love that song. Um, Number two, I would say is meaningful daydream from my new album. Mm -hmm. And what was the third one again? Like a newer song or a trendy song. Of mine? Yeah, of yours, yeah. I really like from my new album, Too Much. Because I find like TikTok is a big platform right now. Yeah, it is. (laughs) And there there are songs um, that are becoming popular, like specific genres. And there are dancing songs like Mia Martinez songs that are on TikTok. So I wouldn't be surprised if... I click on TikTok and I see someone have stereo love. Like I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I know Beast is big on TikTok, so yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, TikTok's cool. <laughs> it, it it's really cool to see because you know I'm Canadian, you're Canadian, and I think that's important to to bring up. I saw you perform at the Junos in Ottawa, um, yes. but I find. Canadian artists for many years, it's not even like the last couple of years, people will kind of talk about, you know, The weekend and Drake, but like, I've seen the grind from like 10, 15 years ago of Canadian artists, do you agree? Even longer yeah, than that. Definitely, definitely. We came a long way. Like, there's so much talent in Canada, and I feel the reason why we get so developed is because we're always the underdog. Yep. So we always have like to prove ourselves. So I find that's that's why we cultivate such great talent because we really work our craft. 
craft we're we're very very crafty and creative with it and that's why you do get those like look at the biggest artists in the world they're all canadian right now yeah, absolutely so, so it it go it shows a lot of um so it shows a lot of things and not and another thing too canada is so multicultural yep so that has a big influence as well for sure Mm -hmm. Your songs, like I said in, in like in the intro, international global reach. There's a lot of platforms out there that allow you know Mia Martinez music to kind of reach global YouTube, Spotify. Yeah. Um, what does that mean to you specifically that your songs are being pro like played in like many different countries at many different times over many different time zones i mean that's a really cool feeling i'm sure yeah it's the best thing i could ever ask for i'm so 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 grateful for that because my career is based off my international touring um i've toured the world like four times already um i'm super blessed because i wouldn't have gotten the chance to travel like that have it not be for my music and I get to connect with people from all over the world through music and it's 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 wonderful it's wonderful we mentioned you know you going platinum during the during COVID and congrats on that but Thank you. specifically have you seen during the quarantine like a spike in interest or is it how or has it been kind of the same you know what that's a good question for me personally i've kind of seen a little bit of a spike but and i'm sure most artists have because yep. people are home and they're yeah. streaming music so i think for most artists it should be it should be a little bit of a spike there's a lot of things that people could say about this right now but obviously the music industry right now in many ways is being affected um, yeah. especially you know the touring aspect of things um because of this covid what do you kind of see the next kind of like the next year looking like i mean it's going to be really different we don't know kind of when we can go back to normal and when these tours and these big venues can kind of open up again but from your perspective as an international recording artist what do you think about all this well i definitely think that touring is a no-go until next year i think that what's going to really take over is we're going to get a lot of a lot of new music from everybody and um i think People are going to have to come up with creative ways to connect with their with their fan base, their their audience. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be a really um, big thing. I mean, I see all all these artists doing these live live like live performances and stuff. I think it's just a matter of taking this format and turning it into something bigger, so that we it's it's like a bigger experience for the viewer. Um, so I think we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of that and a lot of collaborations i think a lot of collaborations you've done a lot of cool collaborations over the past couple of years mm -hmm. what have been kind of some of your favorite collaborations honestly i love collabing with dev dev was awesome uh for dance and waka was cool <laughs> yeah waka flaka that was a really that was a good one that's a good yeah, track waka is awesome yeah he's such a great person they're both great people they're just such good energy we had such a good time uh doing that together stereo love had that club like club feel you know what i mean that you know you go i i find it's one of those things where you heard stereo love and it was one of those things where you would go to you would go dancing and everyone would kind of run to the dance floor as, so, as soon as they heard it. Was that the mentality mm -hmm. going in when that song was produced? Honestly, I didn't produce that record. Um, that's That wasn't, it came to me and I was just the vocalist on it because it was my first song uh, ever that came mm -hmm. out. But I knew when I heard it, yeah. it was going to be something. I felt it. You know, you feel those ones, and I was just like, "Yeah, I think this is going to be massive." And um, then here we are. Well, what about other songs too that you had more of a hand in? Like, for example, like like Heartbreaker. Mm -hmm. One of my um, favorites of yours. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Heartbreaker was a great record. Um, I was definitely definitely more hands on on that. I I co wrote that, and we were in the studio while we were doing that together. Lat Moon's another one. Lat um, Moon. Of course, yeah, that movie but you have burning. you have you have a you have a lot. We forget about some of them. Yeah, yeah like like burning, Latin moon, dance, um, beast. Like I've had so many great, great, big dance records. Um, and 
what always worked for me is working with the same team. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, like because we're so we were so in sync at the time, and that I feel is so important when you have your your team and it's just it's just a magical moment and we just capitalized on it and it was just such a great album. Yeah. What advice do you have? I mean, you're you know, you're a multi platinum artist. You have millions of views on YouTube. You have millions of streams on Spotify. You're obviously doing something right. What advice? Like, I mean, a lot of people kind of want to, you know, produce music and get out there. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any advice for up and coming artists that are trying yeah, to get in the I game? Do. I do. Um, we we're in a different climate, so I feel now, um, especially for new artists, they need to be authentic to them. Yeah. Like, really try to find your uh, like, be authentic. I I see a lot of followers. But I love when I see authenticity and I feel now you have to be able to do it all. You have to be knowledgeable, not only about production, how to record yourself, how to do videos, how to work social media. You have to be a really well-rounded artist because now teams like before don't exist. You, yeah. you are your own team and, and essentially your own manager at some point, you know, before you start making big moves. So you have to know a little bit about everything. And it's just about educating yourself. You specifically, you obviously have a team, but were, was that kind of mentality for me and Martina early on too, that you did want to be hands-on and as much as you can to kind of be um, in the know? I mean, I, I, I kind of always was. Our team was like, my, my first label was, we were very, we were like the major independent. So we worked as a family. So we were really hands-on with everything that we did. And that taught me so much. Um, it taught me so much. That's why I'm able to be an independent artist now. Um, yeah. like, and, and have like, and handpick the people that I want to work with on specific projects. So that's really what that taught me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Mia, thank you so much for joining me on Pop Turnative. I really enjoyed thank chatting. You. Thank you so much for having me. Stay safe. Absolutely. Where can people follow you on social media and where can they get the, uh, Mia, listen to Mia Martinez music and what's yes, new that they can check out? On all the platforms. On, I'm on all platforms, Instagram. I'm, I'm everywhere. It's not hard. Just type in my name. You'll find me. <laughs> Absolutely. And is there any specific songs that we should be looking out for? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, new music coming by the end of the year. Very so, cool. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, youtube.com slash Pop Turnative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Mia Martina and PD Beats signing Thank off. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.